Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure of setting up an SSH server on a Raspberry Pi. So I'll put a link in the description of that video. I'll also put a link to the Raspberry Pi hardware I'm using on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to be copying files from an Ubuntu desktop to the Raspberry Pi using SCP. So SCP is secure copy, and that's part of the SSH package. So I'm doing this on Ubuntu 20.04, but this will work on other versions of Ubuntu or Linux. I mean, going back many years. Uh, this is the same procedure. So I have a directory on the desktop here called books. And inside of that, I have some books in HTML format. I got these off Project Gutenberg, and then I have a folder called new books, which also has more books in it. So I'll be using those to copy over to the Raspberry Pi. So I have two terminals up now. I'll have one on the left and one on the right. On this left terminal, I'm going to log into the Raspberry Pi so we can see the progress as we copy files over. And I'll put a link below to my website where you can find the commands that I'm typing in here so you don't have to copy them directly from the video. So in order to do that, we'll want to type ssh space and then pi at raspberrypi.local. So pi is the user I'm logging in as. And Raspberry Pi local is the zero conf host name for that machine. You can also use the IP address. I'll hit enter here. It'll ask for my password. I'll type that in. And now I'll clear the screen. So we currently just have some directories in here like bookshelf, desktop, documents, downloads, there. So on the Ubuntu side, I can type pwd to see my working directory. So I'm in home rec. If you want to go to the home directory, you can just type cd. That'll take you to the home directory. But I want to go to the desktop. So I'll type cd space and then desktop. And I use tab completion. So I just started typing desktop and hit tab and it finished the rest of the name for me. So I could do that here and then type ls and I see the books directory but I can go back a directory by typing cd space dot dot forward slash enter and that will take me back a directory so I'm back in Rick. And I can go into both directories at the same time. I can type cd space desktop forward slash and then books forward slash and it takes me into the second directory. So I don't have to do two steps. I don't have to go to desktop and then books. I can do it all at once. So if I type ls in here, we see the files clear the screen. So now if I type ls space dash l, we can see a listing of the files here. So we have the sizes, but they're kind of hard to read. So what I can do is I can press up arrow to go to my last command I ran and add an H on the end, and that will make the sizes in human readable format. So we can see this is 199K, 496K, etc. And we're only seeing the files in the current directory. So I'll clear my screen here. I'll type ls space dash L R H, and this will list the files recursively. So we have everything in the main directory and then inside of this new books directory, we're also listing that too. So you can see everything. So you, you can get into situations where you'll run that command and you'll have a ton of files because there's just nested directories upon nested directories. Okay, so I'll clear my screen. I'll type ls and I want to copy a file from this Ubuntu machine to the Raspberry Pi. So I want to type scp space and then 11-h. So that's the file I want to copy. And then I want the destination. I want to type pi at raspberry pi.local and then colon tilde forward slash. So this is going to copy this file to this user account at this host. And then you have colon and then you have the path. So this tilde slash represents the home directory. So I'll hit enter here. It's going to ask me for my password. I'll hit enter. I'll go over to this side and I'll say ls. And you see we have this file here that 11-h.htm. So if we want to copy all of these htm files, we can type scp space star.htm, so we have a wildcard there, then pi at raspberrypi.local, colon, tilde, forward slash. So it's similar to before. I'll type my password in. It's going to copy all the files over. If we go to the Raspberry Pi now, we see all the files are copied. So this is getting a little cluttered here on the Raspberry Pi. So it would have made sense from the beginning to create a directory over here. So let's do that now. I'll type mkdir and I'll call it book copy. I'll hit enter. I'll hit cd book copy. So we have some of these files copied and I could copy them in the book copy, but I'm representing what you could do if you started from scratch. So on the Ubuntu side, I'll clear my screen. So say I want to copy all of these files, including the new books. So for that, we need to do a recursive copy. So I'll type scp space and then dash r space and then star so that'll do everything in the current directory space and then pi at raspberry pi dot local then a colon and then tilde forward slash and this time we want to put them in the book copy directory so i'll type that here book copy forward slash i'll hit enter i'll type my password in 
And now it copied all of those files. So if we go over to the Raspberry Pi and type ls, you see we have these files here. And actually, let me clear the screen. I'll type ls space dash l h r. And you can see we have all the files here, including the new books directory with the files in it. So I'll clear the screen on the Ubuntu side. I'll bring this command back up. So this can be any directory over here. So you in theory could put that in the boot directory like this, but we don't have permission to write in the boot directory in the Raspberry Pi, so this wouldn't work. But if you did have permission, you could copy a file into that directory. You just want to use the tilde if you're in the home directory. Certainly you could type out the whole directory like home, rick, desktop. You could do that too, but the tilde is the better way to do it. So that's all for this video. This is just basic copying of files. This isn't something you'd use in an office if you have like 10 people and they all need to share files within each other. This is something you'd use if you have, say, one or a directory of files you need to move over to a Raspberry Pi to configure it or for a website or something like that. If you had to do lots of file sharing, you'd set up something like Samba. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.